So dramatic turbo, all alone, poor turbo. My older sister's in town visiting, doing like a mini holiday. And <laughs> that's his favorite person in the world. She just left to go meet up with one of her old college friends and turbo's acting like he's been abandoned and he's never gonna find love again. I know, your favorite person left. She'll be back, it's okay. Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's it you doing? You're doing well, I'm great. That, don't judge on this one, it just threw it up and threw some stuff on it. I know it doesn't look great, but it's, it's fine. I know, it's not great, but it's good enough for now. I have something special on the front porch. Hey Tobes, how you doing, baby? Special deliveries, Black Friday stuff. <laughs> Things happened on Black Friday. Very big plants, I figure. We'll unbox them, we'll talk about them. Have family in town, so that's pretty much where this is going to end. We'll just look at what's inside. And then in the longer video, after this one, Saturday video, plant them up. I have a bunch of other things that are coming in the mail too. We'll be able to open those up for that video and just, you know, have fun with plants. Till time of year, going with the flow. Where do you think you're going? Uh, 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 what are you doing? Get inside. Go inside, get in the house. Good boy, have a seat. There you go. You just stay there with your, your rules and everything. Let's see here, big boxes, not that heavy. Not that heavy at all. Take these around to the backyard, get you up on a tripod and see what's inside. <sighs> A little breezy, but it feels good to be outside. Yeah, got some good stuff in here. Black Friday, did some plant shopping, as you can see, pretty sure I already mentioned that. Perennials, nice big, hopefully nice big perennials. I said the boxes were not exactly all that heavy. So they're packaged very well. So these are from the Home Depot. I do prefer to shop local when it comes to my plants. We have a lot of great nurseries here in St. Louis. That's where I am. I just haven't had time to get out to the nurseries lately. And we still have maybe a couple of weeks left to get perennials in the ground, specifically trees and shrubs. I tend to plant until the ground freezes. You get a head start for the next year. And I had done some shopping around to try and get a hold of what's inside these boxes, but just Hadn't had the best luck finding ones that were the right size for the right price. Just keep this on its side, open it up, probably. Yeah, okay, that's a nice looking plant. Like how the root ball's potted up, still in its container, has a solid box around it. Extra layers of protection, I like to see. This doesn't look like it probably shifted around much at all inside the container. Makes it a lot easier to get these things out of these boxes. You can come in and just cut away at whatever they had it packaged inside of and lift it right out. Unless it's taped down in there. Nope, it's gonna come right out. Bigger than I thought it would be. Like when that happens, I'm gonna pop this one open. If there's anything different about it, I'll make sure to show y'all. As much fun as it is looking at a cardboard box and seeing how things are packaged, I would imagine it'd probably be more fun to actually see the plants in all their glory. This one's nice and full, really full, big and bushy. Heck, this one's even bent up inside the box. I'm didn't I say I was gonna skip past this part? Well, whatever, I figured I'd bring y'all along for the experience. It's exciting getting a great big plant in a nice big box. Oh, they look so good. Nice shape for the size specifically. These are Nellie Stevens Hollies. Didn't come with an invoice, which is unfortunate because their website's not, it's not working. Actually, probably my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi has been a little bit shoddy over the last few days. These were a good price. I was hoping they would come with an invoice so I could refresh my memory as how much they were, but I know that they were in the 50s for a seven gallon container. And locally, they're usually between like, I wanna say 69 to 150, just depending on where you're shopping, if they're, you know, maybe a Monrovia plant. The more fancy brands can get more expensive. I've wanted two of these for a while now. Plant up above the staircase here, one on each side. The Nellie Stevens Hollies are quick growers. They're quick growers into zone six. I'm now zone seven, but that's uh, debatable. Kind of, not really. We have dips that get pretty dang cold and they can be susceptible to wind burn. So I want to make sure to start them off at a large enough size and to make sure they had a good amount of girth inside of their growth. That's an important thing to look for when you're planting things that are just on the line of hardy. And these have some nice thick woody growth on the inside. Kind of hard to see it. Lighting's funky today, but good and girthy. That girth just adds to winter survivability. The foliage burns off, it's okay. There's still good wood in there, hopefully that has survived the cold and will regrow. Like I said, this is a quick grower. It's one you do have to stay on top of pruning with because they will get very big very quickly. I would imagine just a few years, these will probably be between six to 10 feet tall, at least. This one right here is about as tall as me, so it's close to six feet tall and it's in a pot. So just under five feet tall. 
probably about how big these are. 50 bucks, 50 something dollars, free shipping, good deal. And then a lot of the plants that are sold through places like Home Depot have different vendors that they rely on to ship those plants out. This just said unbranded, but they came with a, where is it? A piece of paper here. Maybe it says who grew them. Thank you for your order. We appreciate your business. Deciduous and evergreen plant dormancy and winter early spring and plants may ship all Okay, get all that. Trimmed plants got it. No, doesn't say. Don't know who grew them. They look good. They're just gonna keep looking better. I'm glad that these showed up now. I still have time to get them into the ground. Like I said, I'll be working on the next video because I'm still waiting on a bunch of other things to come in the mail that should be here in time for the video that comes out after this one. At Nellie Stevens Holly, they get a really nice cone shape to them, and I want to shape these into gumdrops on each side of that staircase. Great plant for quick evergreen privacy, fairly affordable. Usually it just sort of depends on where you live. Price is really subjective, right? But for a seven gallon plant of these calibers, these look really good. I've seen others in pots about this size and smaller that were pretty puny. These are nice. These are nice and big. They should put on at least a foot of growth next year. That's why I want to get them into the ground now. So when spring comes around, they're just boom, ready to go. Uh, website just opened up while it's in my pocket. Sorry, the sale's over. That's the regular price. That's about what I would see at a lot of local nurseries for these guys, especially at this size. In fact, you can find them in this size. I got off topic, but I was going to talk about the berries. There are some berries on here, which is great. The Nellie Stevens is, I believe, a female-only cultivar. They only produce female flowers, and those flowers are able to bear fruit with cross-pollination from male, but need to have a male of some other form around. I do think it'd be nice to have some holly berries around here, so it'd probably be a good idea. They're parthenogenic. They should be able to put up some berries without having a male around to fertilize. But I think that having more hollies around some males would be a really good idea. So I'll probably find another variety to plant nearby for fertilization purposes. So that way in the wintertime have all the nice berries on. The berries aren't just nice to look at. They're also really great for wildlife. Birds really enjoy them. They like to make sure there's something outside for the birds during the wintertime. That's pretty much it. They're just nice looking shrubs. Got a great deal on them. Thought I'd share it. I wish they were still on sale that would make for an even better video because i'd be like hey go ahead and order some but the sale's over it's the holiday season so maybe that will return maybe they'll go on sale again i don't know i had had these in my shopping cart for a while and they were i think 86 dollars the entire time some places will mark things up before the holidays and then mark them down to not far beneath what their normal price was and call it a sale. I had had these sitting around in my shopping cart for a minute and that was the regular price. So that's nice that they didn't do that. I suppose they weren't manipulated with their sales tactic. They look good. I'm gonna get these planted up hopefully in the next few days. We have a warm front moving through here. It's in the 50s, upper 40s. Plenty warm enough to plant these. These can go into the ground up until freezing. Plant them in a nice big hole, put just a tiny bit of compost in there to help enrich the soil and some to help break down the clay because I have a lot of clay. Backfill, water heavily, mulch, and stay on top of watering because their first season in the ground, their first winter in the ground, they're gonna be much more prone to drying out. It's really important when you have those drying winter winds to make sure your plants don't desiccate. Are you done? Oh, such a sad turbo. I'm probably going to go ahead and start throwing a ball or something in the pool, get the dog entertained and feeling better. We'll wait for some more boxes to come in the mail, some more plants, and just have a fun planting day out here over the weekend, which I'm excited about. It's probably gonna be the last planting day of the season. I know for a lot of y'all that time has passed. Like I said, I'll keep going until the ground freezes and we're not there yet. Hopefully we still have a few weeks left to get some shrubs and evergreens in the ground. Oh, they're nice. I know they don't have that beautiful shape yet, but when they get a little bit bigger, probably close to double the size, they'll be nice and full and have that nice conical shape to them. Keep them pruned. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love a Nellie Stevens holly, the Oakhurst. That's another great one. There are actually a lot of hollies that maintain a nice cone shape or are ones that you can maintain a nice cone shape on. A couple times a year, just make sure you cut them back to a maintainable height. Like I said, I'm going to be hedging these up to get a nice shape on them and hopefully get good enough leaves, good enough trunks on these so I can make nice looking gumdrop topiaries out of them. I see a lot of people do it around here and it looks really nice, but it takes a lot of time and patience. That's why it's better to get going on this now instead of waiting until spring. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. Comment down below, say hi. Love talking to y'all. What's going on in your gardens? Are you done gardening? Still trying to get some shrubs in the ground? Whoa, that is a lot of geese. Is that going to show on camera? Do you see that? I don't think I've ever seen that many geese in one spot at a time in my life. That's a ton. I feel like I should not be standing underneath that. <laughs> I'd myself under the umbrella while I show that off. That is impressive. Lots of geese and they're up nice and high. It just keeps going. 
There's so many of them. Okay, sorry, easily distracted. Come on, nature, right? That's freaking awesome. I need to water these in. I'm gonna give them a day or two to rest and then get them in the ground. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life. Things just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.